Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Is It Worth It? I'm Power602, and for this episode we're going to be doing the Magical Teapots. But, um, I don't know how similar they are to Philosopher's, um, Philosopher books. I know that they give similar items, um, but the difference is, is that I don't think they give two. I think they only give one. I'm not 100% sure about that yet. And, um... The, getting the enchanted tea bags are so much harder than getting those pens, the the quills. Um, it literally took me several hours to get, um, where is it? To get these right here. Those twelve took me several hours in Hall of Honor to get. That's a lot of time for twelve enchanted tea bags. So I'm just going to be getting eleven of these. The thing that kind of sucks is that you can't use NX credit um, to buy these. I don't know why. Apparently something happened um, back when there was Philosopher Books and they got they made it so you can't use NX credit to buy them. So I had to go NX prepaid, um, which wasn't that hard for me. So I'm just going to get 11 of them. And yay, 400. All right. Now, I'm in Ardmental because that's where I always go for stuff like this. Um, so I have 11 of these. I think I might need a bit, make a bit of space or knives nah, should probably be good. But I hear, I don't know if these give as good as drops as the philosopher books do or as good of, of items. Well, let's try it out. So. Let's start off with the first one. Let's see what we get. I'm hoping to get... Let's see. Let's see what we get. Oh, maybe it does give you two, because you need two, etc. Alright, but I am hoping to get um, some... Either, uh, what's it called? Chaos Raw or Root Abyss items. Or Fafnir. That would be absolutely amazing. And it only does... It only gives you one, and that was... 30 day mount? Really? No, that's... Let's see if this is worth it. This chair... I don't know. It's, it's a chair. Lots of people have chairs nowadays. Back before when Gachapon used to give you those crappy one month or three month chairs. Oh man, that made me so mad. Fiery Fox? That's pretty cool, but I've already had one of those before. I don't think those are very rare at all. They probably don't cost much at all. So I'm Sutherland, Pendant of the Spirit Box. I don't really need a Pendant of the Spirit right now, but I will definitely keep that in case I do. It might come a bit handy. Unicorn one year. Alright, so we have already done five of them, and we've got nothing good. We have got no Root Abyss items, we've got no Fafnir. Bamboo Spear, I, just, I don't think that really costs anything either. This isn't really cooling very good now, is it? TV recliner chair, again, it's a chair. Lots of people have chairs, because Scotch Pond gives you a crap ton of them. Elite Coliseum Ground Belt. Well, it's only an elite belt, that doesn't really mean a whole lot. It probably doesn't go for that much. But I guess it's pretty cool. Fat Mini Bean. Fatty Mini Bean. That's pretty cool, but I've seen a few of those in the half room. They're not that much. I only have two left. Come on. At least one root of this item. Fan Club Balloon. That is a bit cool, but I don't know. Come on. So, well, I guess these two, this is a really cool kind of, um, a really cool uh, cape, where I should probably take this off. Nah, it's alright. Um, and this belt, that's really all that is that useful. Unicorn mount and these don't really cost a whole lot. 
Depending on the spirit box, might come in handy. Maybe not. I don't know yet. So that wasn't really that good. This is untradeable too, so if I even wanted to sell it, I had to buy a Platinum Scissors of Karma, and that probably would not be worth it. So this is either going to rot in my inventory or I'm going to drop it. I don't know yet. This, I think I've seen for several hundred mil, but they were unsold, so they probably cost less than that. This, I haven't seen in the FM yet, but I'm pretty sure quite a few people have it, so it probably doesn't cost much at all. Um, Bamboo Spear, I don't know. Fire Fox, I'm pretty sure it doesn't cost that much, because I believe that was at one point a drop. Because I know I used to have one of these. I don't know what happened to it, but I did have one. It's a staff. So this didn't really come up very good. Is it worth it? I'd say no. The Philosopher books were way better. It gave you a -nebs. It gave you, um, gave you Fafnir items pretty often. I know I've got, I got two Fafnir items from doing Philosopher books. Uh, they just give you a lot of useful stuff that you could sell for a lot. This, not so much. Not only did it give you half as many items, but the items it gave you weren't even that good. So, that's it. That was it for this episode. That was kind of a disappointment. I was really hoping to get something good. I mean, if you look at the list on the Maple Story website, it has this huge long list of all these good items you can get. But I apparently didn't get any of those. So, yeah. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. My personal opinion, no, this is not worth it. It was a waste of 14k and X, and I wish I could have that 14k back. And use it on more useful things, like cubes. Everyone needs cubes. Alright, well thank you guys for watching. This is another episode of Was It Worth It? And, uh, see you guys later.